is essentially the strand duration curve um, and strand duration curve was first proposed or first studied by the neurophysiologist Weiss um, in uh, the year 1901. Uh, this strand duration curve essentially measures the excitability of certain tissues in our body uh, and there are two uh, tissues which are excitable, one being the nerve resulting in action potentials and the stimulation of muscles resulting in contraction. Uh, so Weiss uh, uh, studied the stimulation of a nerve uh, uh, tissues uh, and plotted the graph uh, plotting the strength of the current required to stimulate on the y-axis and the duration of the stimulus uh, on the x-axis as shown here with I denoting the current and D denoting uh, uh, the duration and what he found was the relationship between these two is inverse but linear and so he plotted an, uh, a graph like this with the area under the curve uh, denoting the total amount of charge flowing which was a product of the current and the duration um, of the stimulus. What he also realized was uh, the slope of this particular graph is quite important uh, and in fact the slope uh, of the graph helps uh, estimating uh, the rio base. Rio base comes from a Greek word rio means minimum and base means current and hence the rio base is the minimum current uh, of infinite duration uh, required to stimulate any particular tissue whether it is nerve or it is muscle. But pretty soon uh, people realized that the Weiss model was pretty simplistic and it was essentially a mathematical model and the observations were not correlating with the physiological observations uh, that people were getting. Uh, and that is because the strain duration curve uh, in the later experiments were found not to be linear. Uh, in 1909, uh, Lapec uh, did um, his uh, uh, you know experiments uh, and in which he plotted again the strength and duration curve um, on the uh, y and the x axis respectively and he found that the relationship between these two variables essentially was hyperbolic and he found a graph like this um, and in his experiments when he applied a very small current of inf uh, infinite duration uh, you know he was able to stimulate uh, the nerve and that was because uh, there was slow accumulation of the charge in the nerves uh, exceeding uh, the leaky channels. Um, what he also found was when he doubled this uh, charge he could shorten the duration and at twice the uh, twice the current uh, required to stimulate the nerve um, uh, you know he got this duration which he called Cranaxi. So essentially rio base is minimal current of infinite duration required to stimulate while Cranaxi is the duration of stimulation uh, required to stimulate a nerve at twice the rheobase uh, uh, current.